we now have an image of that invisible space anomaly, a black hole. When the first data packets arrived from Webb's deep field survey this month, no one expected trouble. These were routine observations, follow-ups on a faint early galaxy cataloged months earlier. But when astronomers ran the spectral analysis, the reaction inside the room changed instantly. Conversations stopped, people leaned toward their screens. Black holes are the most powerful vacuum in the universe. They inhale everything, even light, for eternity. But as menacing as they seem, until now, they've been invisible. The numbers didn't match anything in the database. They were too sharp, too bright, too concentrated for a galaxy so small. And right in the center of the data was the signature no one wanted to see this early in cosmic history. The unmistakable footprint of a supermassive black hole, one roughly 400 million times the mass of the sun. For a moment, the room stayed silent, not because they didn't believe the data, but because they did. This wasn't the detection of an active quasar blazing with ultraviolet light. It wasn't the discovery of a violent feeding black hole roaring across space. It was something even stranger, a dormant, silent gravitational giant, fully grown, fully assembled, and completely unexpected in a universe this young. The cosmic clock said the universe was only about 500 million years old at the time this light left its source. According to every current model, a black hole this massive shouldn't exist yet. And that was the problem. This discovery, quietly buried inside routine spectrographic measurements, immediately spread across NASA teams, then into partner institutes in Europe and Asia. The phrase repeated in internal emails was the same. This is too big for the timeline. The early universe was supposed to be chaotic, irregular, and slow moving. Small proto-galaxies forming, early stars burning out, matter collapsing in clumps. But in this single unremarkable looking object, Webb had uncovered evidence of an engine so powerful that it could only form after billions of years of mergers, collapses, and accretion. Yet here it was, fully assembled, silent, waiting. To understand how shocking this is, you need to know how black holes normally grow. Stellar mass black holes, the kind formed from dying stars, begin small, dozens of solar masses. From there, they merge with others or slowly accumulate gas. That process is painfully slow. Even under ideal conditions, it can take billions of years to reach more than a few million solar masses. But Webb's target wasn't a few million. It was closer to half a billion. The big question was obvious. How? When Webb zoomed in on the region, everything looked calm. Too calm. The galaxy around it was small, faint, and unusually compact. It didn't show the chaotic starburst patterns expected in early formation. It didn't show tidal distortions from a recent merger. And the biggest surprise of all, it wasn't bright. If a black hole of this mass were actively feeding, the surrounding gas disk would shine brighter than the entire galaxy. Instead, this one was nearly invisible, its presence detectable only through its gravitational influence on nearby stars and the faint distortions in velocity patterns. That meant one thing. This black hole wasn't feeding. It was sleeping. A dormant supermassive black hole this early in cosmic time is much stranger than an active one. Active black holes glow, flare, throw out jets, and show up in surveys easily. Dormant ones hide. They absorb light rather than produce it. To find one this size requires extraordinary sensitivity, and Webb's instruments are the only ones in existence capable of detecting something this subtle at more than 13 billion light years away. Once the shock faded, the investigations began team started analyzing how this black hole could have grown so fast. One idea is direct collapse, a hypothetical process where a massive cloud of primordial gas collapses into a giant black hole without ever forming stars. But direct collapse black holes were predicted to form at around 100,000 solar masses, maybe a million at most, not hundreds of millions. 
the web discovery overshot the upper limit by factors of hundreds. Another idea involves massive star clusters forming and collapsing together, but simulations show that even these processes hit physical limits. Radiation pressure pushes back, gas disperses, gravity can't pull material inward fast enough. The universe simply doesn't move quickly enough to build something this large, this early. Yet here it was, proof that something moved faster than expected. Harvard astrophysicist Dr. Priya Das described it bluntly during a briefing, quote, We're not looking at an error, we're looking at a formation pathway that should not exist, end quote. Other researchers took a more cautious approach. Maybe the black hole wasn't truly dormant, maybe it had fed earlier, violently, and then quieted down. Maybe we just happened to caught it during a calm phase. But that explanation only deepened the puzzle. To go quiet, a black hole must first exhaust or scatter the surrounding gas. That means an entire galaxy's worth of material would need to funnel inward beforehand. That would require time, far more time than the early universe had to give. The tension between observation and theory grew with each new reading. The accretion disk was faint. The star position showed extreme gravitational curvature. The central region behaved like a single massive point. Every test confirmed the same thing. The black hole was real. Some scientists suggested a cosmic jumpstart. Perhaps pockets of the early universe had higher densities than expected, allowing matter to clump extremely rapidly. Others proposed exotic dark matter behavior, an early universe where dark matter halos collapsed faster, pulling gas into deep gravitational wells before the laws of normal astrophysics slowed things down. There were even discussions about whether the black hole could predate the galaxy itself, forming first and attracting the galaxy later. That scenario remains speculative, but it's becoming more plausible as Webb's discoveries continue to break early universe expectations. A more radical possibility came from researchers studying the cosmic microwave background, the echo of the Big Bang. A few teams suggested that some black holes might form from density fluctuations immediately after the universe began, within the first seconds. These so-called primordial black holes remain hypothetical, but the idea is simple. In a universe expanding at breakneck speed, pockets of matter could collapse faster than equations predict, forming large black holes extremely early. Until now, these ideas were mostly mathematical exercises, but Webb's detection breathed new life into them. As the data circulated, NASA requested verification from European and Japanese observatories. The response was unanimous. The object was consistent with a massive, dormant black hole. Reporters began asking questions. Why was it dormant? Why was it so big? Why was it so old? But scientists had a deeper question. What does this mean for the timeline of cosmic structure? If one dormant 400 million solar mass black hole exists this early, there could be many more. Perhaps entire populations of early black holes formed long before galaxies reached maturity. Perhaps galaxies built themselves around black holes, not the other way around. This flips the traditional formation sequence on its head. Instead of supermassive black holes arising from galaxies, maybe galaxies were shaped, steered, and accelerated by the gravitational giants at their cores. In fact, some theories predict exactly that, black holes as seeds around which galaxies condense. But even in those models, the seeds are small and take billions of years to grow. Webb's discovery is more like finding a fully grown tree inside a forest of new saplings. As these ideas circulated, the tone inside NASA meetings shifted. This wasn't just another early galaxy. It was a challenge to the early chapters of cosmology. What else was the universe capable of in its first moments? What else had formed faster than expected? 
Behind the scenes, scientists raced to model the object. They tested different chemical compositions, different gas densities, and different temperature profiles. They tried altering early dark matter distribution. Nothing could produce a dormant behemoth this early, except exotic formation pathways that remain unconfirmed. Still, the data held. The signature was consistent. The gravitational influence was unmistakable. The mass estimate, even with conservative margins, was enormous. As Webb continued collecting spectra from the galaxy, something else became clear. The stars around the black hole moved in a pattern seen only in mature galaxies. They weren't chaotic, they weren't random, they were orbiting something central, massive, and quiet. The heart of the galaxy was already settled. But why? This question reached beyond physics, into philosophy. What does it mean when the universe breaks our timeline? When objects form faster than equations allow? When a giant sleeps in the early dark? For the public, the story will be simple. Webb finds another early black hole. But for scientists, this is much more than a headline. It's a signpost, a clue that the early universe was more dynamic, more aggressive, and more efficient than our models predicted. The dormant nature of the black hole is perhaps the most unsettling part of all, not because it implies danger, but because it implies maturity, something this large shouldn't have had time to settle down. And yet, here it was, silent, impossibly massive, already finished growing when the universe was young. As scientists prepare the next round of web observations, the stakes are clear. If more dormant supermassive black holes appear at similar redshifts, then cosmology will enter a new era. Not one of crisis, but one of expansion. A timeline rewritten. A universe more active in its earliest moments than we ever imagined. Whatever the next discovery is, one thing is certain. Webb is forcing the universe to reveal secrets it has hidden since the dawn of time. And this, this silent, ancient 400 million solar mass giant, is only the beginning.